Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed my Kamaya Healing Spray. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So I hope you guys have been well. Hope you guys had a great holiday and you guys are excited for the upcoming year. Um, super, super excited about that. Also, my birthday is coming up. Uh, my birthday is January 2nd. Um, I am a Capricorn, if any of you guys are wondering. Um, but yeah, let's see. I don't think there's anything else I have to update you guys on. Um, but yeah, super excited. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. This is my favorite time of the year, especially with my birthday coming up. New Year's is always my favorite just because I feel like it's one of the holidays that everyone um, in the world celebrates. Um, everyone celebrates the passing of time. It's also um, with the Chinese Zodiac, if any of you pay attention to that, um, it's going to be Year of the Tiger. And I was born Year of the Tiger as well. So it's gonna be my Chinese Zodiac year too. So super excited about that. But again, Lunar New Year isn't coming up until February. So I think we're gonna shuffling. Let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what is going on with the collective today. aren't coming out that nicely so we're gonna start with these three. First off we have temperance in reverse so someone is struggling with healing themselves and then we have a seven of pentacles this is because you know they've invested a lot of themselves their time their attention their actual money into a situation that isn't um you know nothing good is coming of it and then we have the strength and this one landed sideways um so they are struggling with the decision that they've made interesting Oops. these cards are crazy today okay two more so we have a three of swords um i think a breakup is impending for them um or they just have a feeling their relationship is over and then we have the chariot here they think whoever they're with um has made the decision to leave them Right. And then we have a seven of cups in reverse. This person that I'm channeling, they're really upset because they don't think they have any other options. Whereas this person who's leaving them has so many options on their plate and they have a wheel of fortune in reverse. This person thinks, you know, this downfall, everything that is happening to them is just bad karma for decisions that they've made in the past. Um, very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have an Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So like I said, lots of bad karma here. No new financial beginnings with the Five of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of chaos and conflict around them and they're just begging for that to end. With the Two of Wands in reverse, they made a bad decision. With the Page of Swords here, um, they're in this stalking mindset where you know, they're looking at everyone else's life, um, especially right now during the holidays, you know, when you spend a lot of time with loved ones. I think this person had a very lonely holiday and has kind of just been scrolling through social media, wishing that they had someone to be with, spend time with, if they even are in the relationship. With this Three of Swords, you know, they spent their holidays away from the person that they love. Um, under that, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I think this person has been giving way too much in to a relationship and they're not getting anything back. With the King of Cups in reverse, they have a lot of love in their hearts um, and you know, they haven't been able to communicate how they're feeling and how they've been feeling neglected um, within this relationship. With the King of Swords in reverse, they're not standing in their truth. They're not able to be honest and they're not able to communicate with their partner what they need in this relationship. So judgment has been called. This person I think has been struggling with themselves and with loving themselves. And it caused all of this conflict within this relationship because this person wasn't able to communicate, set the right boundaries and really tell their partner what they need to have a happy and stable loving relationship. With the five of swords, I think this person is really regretting the mistakes that they made um, and the conflict that they caused in this relationship. With the star card here, they're doing their best to heal and you know pour into this relationship, but I think they are over pouring rather than 
tuning into themselves and figuring out what they need to do in order to come into this relationship as a whole and healed person to really connect with their partner. With the two of pentacles here, I think this person is really juggling with their self-care um, as well as, you know, what they are investing investing in the people outside of their relationship. With the ace of wands here, they are really trying to manifest a new beginning, um, a new happy ending, new happy opportunity for them and their person. The three of cups in reverse, like I said, they've had a very bleak holiday. They weren't able to spend it with the people they love. Um, with the king of pentacles here, they want to be more financially stable and they think in order to get the people that they want in their life, it really revolves around their financial stability. Um, I'm just gonna say this, that having money isn't everything. You know, you can have a beautiful and happy life without being overly wealthy, without having, you know, the best car, the newest gadgets. Um, having money isn't everything and having money really isn't going to solve all of your problems. Um, yeah, just my two cents. Um, with the three of pentacles here, I think this person needs to learn to collaborate with other people and, you know, rely on people who have been through similar situations in order to understand, you know, the value in surrounding yourself with the right people. The nine of cups here, this person, they do have what it takes inside of them in order to make their wishes come true. They just have to communicate them and really, you know, live through life with an open heart and be able to express what they need from other people. With the four of cups in reverse, I think this person is feeling like they're missing out on a true happy ending. They feel like everyone else um, is moving further along in their life. Um, and they don't know how to keep up with the Joneses as, as I'm hearing. I feel like this person may be a little bit older and they feel like they're past their prime. They should be at a different point in their life right now. With the Queen of Swords here, this is about this person being able to tap into their own intuition, tap into their own truth and being earnest and being able to do what they need in order to be respected by the people around them as well. With the page of cups here, this is this person just accepting that they have a lot to learn. They, even though they may be older in years, you can always still learn how to be a better person and, you know, learn from your immature ways and not repeating past cycles. With the 10 of wands here, this person needs to really drop their burdens of their past, release their emotional baggage in order to have a stable new beginning if they are still with their person or to have a new beginning in general and to be able to move through life um, with a more positive mindset. With the moon in reverse, I think this person has been keeping so many secrets and that is another thing that is causing so much turmoil in their life. With the three of wands here, I think this person has some very important choices to make and needs to be confident enough to move into the unknown and know that things will be better. With the four of wands in reverse, this person, if the relationship isn't over, this person needs to accept that this relationship is over do what they need to do to either accept the breakup that has already been shown to them or also just have the courage to break up with this person to focus on themselves. With the death card in reverse, again, this person has been struggling with closing out this past chapter. With a tower in reverse, this person is trying everything they can to prevent this breakup from happening, but it is just making them go further and further into an emperor in reverse mindset not speaking their truth, not um, acting out of their right and sound mind. With the Page of Pentacles, it is time for this person to learn. It's time for this person to understand how important it is to invest in yourself and also invest in the right people and the right projects when you're coming from a whole being in order to have a more successful future. So 
with that said, I think I just want to get a spiritual guidance message um, to help whoever this is that I'm channeling. If this is you, if this is your person, this is the spiritual guidance that they need in order to heal themselves and become more whole in order to have a more successful future, especially with the new year coming up. I think it is super important. So we have Align Your Life. We have, this is the second time this card has come up today. So align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Um, like I mentioned in that video, um, I did um, post a how to life audit last year. Um, that is one of my favorite blog posts that I've done, but I've actually been auditing my life every single year um, for the past, I don't even know how many years I've been doing it. Um, but yeah, I audit my life every year to see how am I personally aligned with my longer term goals? How am I making progress on shorter term goals? And just seeing where I am and making sure that I feel like I'm truly moving along my soul's true purpose, my soul's true path. So again, I will link that blog post in the down box below for you guys, but just definitely something to reflect on. It's time to really align your life, figure out what is not aligned and what needs to change um, in order to move forward into a happy and brighter future. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel as well as get our videos out to more and more viewers. If you are brand new and anything resonated, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.